Hi, I'm Cece. And I'm Fatima. And this, and this is, is your Eastside East Update. update. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Remember to sign in and out of your sub-school when you arrive late or leave early. You must bring the note within three days of an absence for it to be excused. Order your mums and garters from the mum shop for the homecoming game on October 23rd. Picture retakes will take place on October 8th for juniors and October 9th for seniors during your history class. All students must register and pay for their AP exams by Friday, November 1st. Students taking the October 16th PSAT must register and pay for their test by October 1st. Payments can be made online through PayPams or with cash or check at the council office. Spirit Day sales are on the last Wednesday of every month in the cafeteria during both lunches. Stock up and be ready to support all things Plano East as fall activities begin. Wiz Quiz meets every Friday at 4.20 p.m. in room B4223. Join the remind with the code provided. The Panther Pride Special Olympic team is in search of a social media facilitator as well as a team manager. Both positions will need to be at all games and will be compensated with community service hours. If interested, contact Coach Ruttenberg in room B1137. The Student Help and Review Program, or SHARP, will meet on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays during both lunches in the Learning Lounge outside of room B4234. Come and join this free student tutoring service. The AV2 broadcast team is looking for announcers for sporting events. Anyone is welcome and service hours may be available later. If interested, contact Mr. Oro Pisa in room B1109 or with the email provided. Keys. Keeping education your stepping stone will meet on Thursdays during A and B lunch. A lunch meetings will take place in B1204 and B lunch meetings will take place in B1110. A free women's self-defense class will take place on October 4th from 6 to 7 15 p.m. in the cafeteria. It is open to all female students and staff. Students without a painted parking spot are not allowed to park in teacher lots. Students with valid parking sticker can only park in Africa or find art slots. If you receive a lunch detention, you are to serve it the day after receiving. If you fail to show, you will be assigned a double detention. Failure to attend after this will result in consequences determined by your sub-school principal. You must sign in room B2220 and stay the entire lunch period to be counted present for your detention. Stay day will be on October 4th. There will be food trucks and activities. Hi, I'm Michaela, and I'm a copy editor this year. I just wrote an article about the dress code posters around the school, which highlights on the sexist nature of the dress code. If you've seen the poster, you should definitely check out my article at peshprints.com. We also have a bunch of other awesome articles written on there, so check it out. Hey guys, it's your boy Jadaboy123 here with your weekly sports update. Last Friday, the varsity football team got their first win of the season against their district rivals McKinney Boyd with a final score of 21-14. The Panthers received the ball with just over five minutes left in the fourth quarter and junior quarterback Dylan Hayden scored the go-ahead touchdown with just 11 seconds left on the clock. I'm here with junior quarterback Dylan Hayden, so how does it feel scoring the go-ahead touchdown with 10 seconds left? It feels great. I got to go out there and you get the, you get the crowd going and you get your team all wild up. It's something the team needed, so I'm just glad to do it. Thank you. The football team looks to get their second straight win tonight when they play against the Prosper Eagles at the Prosper Eagles Stadium. Make sure to come out in your jerseys and support your Varsity Panthers. The Varsity Volleyball team also played this past Friday and this past Tuesday. On Friday, they played against Allen and lost in four sets, and they came even closer to a win when they played against Plano Senior High and lost in five sets. They look to rally to a win at the gym at 5.30 against McKinney. 
Make sure to come and support your varsity girls. The varsity swim team has a meet this Saturday at 11.30 a.m. at Robson and Lindley Aquatic Center. Make sure to go out and support both your varsity boy and girl swimming teams. This has been your sports update, and I'll see y'all next week. This has been your Eastside update. Make sure to follow us on all our social media. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.